How does foam rolling affect the contraction speed and force output of muscle tissue? So the last one I want to talk about is this. Once again, um, I'm not saying good or bad. I'm saying this is all about the timing. You want to come up? Who did you? No. Oh, you, one of you guys want to volunteer. Come on. Come on. What's your first dog? Hand. Hand. Okay, I couldn't remember. Okay, Hannah, lay on the table on your back. So I'm going to do, how many here have foam rolled the IT band for the lateral part of your quad? So I'm going to do a muscle test for a muscle called the tensor fascia lata, or TFL. It is lateral, it attaches on the anterior crest of the ilium, right above on the top edge of the trochanter, just above the knee on the condyle of the femur, lateral, and on the tibial tuberosity, just lateral between the patella, tibial tuberosity. Muscle activation techniques, active muscle contract and sustain test is performed on the tensor fascia lata. Pushing hard, Anna. Don't let him move. Ready? Don't look. Up. Ready? Show me this one. Turn it in. Hold and push. Okay, that one's solid. This one was weak. So here's what I want you to do, Anna. Lay on your side, facing that way. I want you to foam roll. Now listen to me. We're being really specific. I want you to roll from this point to about this point. Only on the iliotibial band where the tensor fascia lata connects into. Okay? Which way is the force pushing? Okay, she's, her body mass, we're on Earth. Which way is gravity shoving Hannah down? Very good. Keep it simple. So her body weight is pushing down. What's in the center of her leg? Bone. Is it hard or soft? Pretty rigid, right? And then in between that is muscle, tendon, ligament, blood vessels, stuff, soft stuff. And then we have this foam roller. It gives a little, but not a lot. Okay, go ahead and foam roll that. Now. So she's putting pressure on the iliotibial band, this direction, we'll call it compressing connective tissue. Okay, that's good. So now we're gonna do this test. I wanna see if it altered her performance. Here and here. Hold there. Up. Ready? Is this? Come on. Ready? Up. Ready? I wasn't even the second here. Let's do the one I fixed. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, do me again. Motion. So let me explain. Whether it's lengthening or mechanically fully shortening or compressing, this is trauma to the tissue. There are many variables that will affect how long this muscle will remain inhibited. How long does it take it to like it come back to that? Okay, listen up. Did you hear Ali's question? Ask it again loud. How long does it take for it to come back on its own? The variables are hydration, protein, rest, and how hard you pushed. Did you assist your body weight by putting your arm down and kind of taking some weight off, or were you just laying into it, compressing it as much as you could? And were you doing it for five seconds, or were you doing it for five minutes? The bottom line, if you choose to foam roll connective tissue, it does matter. How hard you push, how long you apply the pressure, and when do you do it? Without getting it verified through muscle activation techniques, you really have no way of knowing. The real question is how much are you willing to risk your athletic performance with unstable inhibited muscle tissue? For more information on how to increase athletic performance and reduce your risk of injury, go to MuscleMechanicsMAT.com. Thanks for watching.